think. Are we ready for the I'm truth? Ready. Cool. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> I'm ready to see, to roll that D100 and see whether or not <laughs> the gods are with me. Yeah. Not not necessarily Milo, but but Cade wants that red <laughs> jasmine. Like, needs it. <laughs> That's very understandable. All right, then. In which case, I believe we're ready. So you guys go not very far. Um, Oak's lab has kind of taken on the status of not necessarily like... What do I say? Not... You know how when they have really old houses and they try to kind of preserve them as they are? What is that called? Mm. Um, Historical? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Essentially. So it's kind of been preserved and left as, as much as possible. The new professors who move in still are able to, you know, continue to live there. Um, because the Pokemon professors have several jobs, they're not only researchers, but it's kind of like their job to be a... Um, you know, uh, you know, a show for the younger kids and being like, hey, kids, this is what Pokemon is like. So every once in a while, there will be like a group of elementary school students who will go on a field mm -hmm. trip to Professor Oak's lab, even though Professor Oak is no longer around. Um, so you guys haven't necessarily never been inside the lab. And of course, V has. But, mm. you know, still an exciting thing. You guys run up, uh, go across the street and uh, run up the stairs to this, you know, older house. Um, what are we doing? Are we knocking on the door? Are we just busting in? Yeah, V just, op just like, kicks the door Wait, open. No, we got it. Okay. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the door wasn't locked. <laughs> um, so it just opens, and you guys head on in. Okay, Hello, um, Professor. Where are you? I guess V would be in front. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Acorn, are you there? <laughs> Wait, no. We we he learned it's not Acorn; it's Acacia. And yeah, uh, outside before he came in here, Milo would have turned to real and be like, "Okay, buddy, it's time to go back in the Pokeball." But then I'll let you out once we're done here. Okay. Real kind of huffs a little bit about that, but yeah, you're able to return him, no problem stuffs it into his, his bag, like, curled up, <clears throat> or hidden in, like, uh, a pair of socks that Mom gave. Okay. Tucks it into a corner, and we're like, okay, you should hide Evie, just in case. Uh, just in case. <laughs> he just kind of, like, stares at it and then puts it in his backpack and closes it. <laughs> the police sirens in the background fade away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we run in. All right or run up and kick the door in, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> he didn't, like, actually kick it, kick it, but just, like, grabbed the handle and threw it open. Fair enough. Dramatic entrance. Dramatic yes. entrance it is. Um, and yeah, you head on inside the Pokemon lab, and what you see before you is an extensive and relatively messy <laughs> Pokemon lab. Now, the front over here, immediately before you, you see that there is a television that you know from previous elementary school visits usually plays like a little bit about like welcome to the world of pokemon it's literally a recording of oak doing a <laughs> bit for the kids uh but at this point it's Amazing. been yeah it's been turned off um and you know that there is a, a little like consultation area on the right here where like for example if a kid wants to get into pokemon stuff and wants to become a trainer and their parents don't want them to do that, you know, they can come in and have a little talk with the professor, and the professor can reassure <laughs> the parents and be like, no, your child won't die, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, they will be one of the monsters. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, but you also see in the back here a lot of the, like, apparatuses and machinery, um, a lot of coffee mugs on various surfaces, <laughs> um, and you see a lot of boxes as well. It looks like this Pokemon professor, um, has like um not unpacked all the way yet necessarily uh they've only been here for about a year so it looks like they like moved in and then just kind of gave up halfway through and went eh good enough but there's also nobody else around you don't you don't see anything professor, you hear anything. professor acacia are you here no answer Okay, yeah. um, so what do we do if 
the Pokemon You'll professor. Find them. Okay. Where do we look? What's this? Is this stairs? That's a wall. Yeah. Okay. A wall. <laughs> That's the wall. It does look rather stair-like. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. With the with the you know the fog of war. Those, <laughs> that's a door. That is definitely a set of stairs that leads upstairs. Now, V, roll me a history stairs. check. Roll me a history check. Okay. Ooh, there's downstairs, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just picked one. There. Okay. You would have been here long enough to know that usually the upstairs is used as, like, a sleeping and living quarters by the professors, so that's... You're essentially marching up to their personal room. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> All right. Would Milo know that that's their personal room? Because you said that he would have Probably here. not. You guys have only ever been out in this outer area, in this, like, entrance area, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Oh, no. Discord. Discord cut out. I still hear you, but I don't hear. Is Discord yeah. doing the thing? There we go. Okay. Okay. Back. There we go. Okay. All right. You, we did disconnect. Okay. It's like it got really quiet. What's happened? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you guys head on upstairs, and the first thing you see is a kind of like a little welcoming area, um, like a TV and a kitchen table, and little kitchen set. Professor Acacia, are you here? We'll just keep hollering as we go. Hello. Hey, we're here to talk um, to you. V, are we? This this kind of looks like their living room. Like I think mm -hmm. I think that's actually one of their shirts. Usually where the bedroom is. Over the <laughs> chair there. Should we should we be in here? Goes up to the like bedroom door if it's. Is it closed or open? It's pretty open. In fact, this part doesn't actually even have a door. You can see further into this room and you see that like, you know, you can already see that it leads into the bedroom area, but roll me a perception check as you're walking brazenly about. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we are announcing ourselves at least. You are very mm -hmm. loudly. Um, <laughs> okay, V, as you go over there, you do hear sounds of something. It sounds like shuffling, and then a creak, and then silence again. Hello? We need to talk to what? you. Anyone home? No answer. I'll go to where I heard the noise. Okay. Uh, over from behind this bookshelf, you do see that this is the main bedroom area, but you don't see see anything. You do, however, see for just a brief moment some movement under the bed. V, I don't think we should be in here. This is... This is no, no, that's there. We, we, what are you doing? What are he you doing, He just gets v? down on all, like, on hands and knees and looks under the bed. <laughs> I love this. I never thought you guys would do this, but I, I love it. Um, <laughs> you see immediately, at first you see darkness. And then you see a pair oh. of eyes open wide. And uh, V, hold on a second. Give me just a moment. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna take all the personal health damage today. Yep. <laughs> um, Apparently, v, what's your AC? Up. Plus uh, 13. 13, okay, excellent. You guys, as you rush into the room, see suddenly, like, essentially tentacles rush out from under the bed, wrap around V, and begin to, like, try to drag him under, but clearly he's, like, larger than under the bed space. So he just kind of gets shoved up against it. <laughs> V, what what are you doing? What? Uh, oh God! Oh, help! What? Where? Help, baby! Um, help! Huh? Is it a Pokemon? Uh, you don't know. You all you see is just like dark blue tentacles wrapped around V, trying to like drag him. But because he's too big, it's just kind of continuously tugging and like slamming him against the bed frame. He just tries to kick at whatever has him. Okay, go ahead and roll <laughs> me a um strength uh saving throw. 
that's not enough. You try to wiggle out and like <laughs> kick, but no, you're restrained currently. What are you? Okay. What are you guys doing? And I try Help. to. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Beside my way, try to pull. All right. Somebody oh, oh, lead, oh. and another one. Go ahead and roll with advantage. <laughs> Go for it, kid. I'll I'll help. <laughs> All right, and just a strength check or strength save. Strength save, we'll say. Okay, <laughs> that much better is excellent. You guys grab V with both hands and begin to yoink. And what happens is, yeah, you yank him back, and you all kind of fall backwards, and V gets and out along with V. Um, you see a mess of those same blue tentacles, which now that you look at it, they look closer to vines, get dragged out (laughs) as a tangle pops out from under the bed. And as soon as it's out in daylight and realizes that there's like more people out here, it kind of goes and like scrambles back under the bed immediately. (laughs) Try to grab it. Vio, try to grab it. Yep. That's the found their Pokemon. We shouldn't it's just their Pokemon. It lives here. We're in their house. We should not be up here, V. Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You, you go ahead and roll me a dex check. I wash my hands of this. I'm not responsible. And he goes down into the... <laughs> no, no. You, that tangle is back under the bed and it is not happy about it. You try to reach, but it like stuffs itself into the furthest corner and you just see a pair of black eyes watching you. That was rude. Just wanted to say hi. Do you know where your professor trainer is? Just kind of blinks at you a couple of times. <laughs> right. No. I'm going to take that as a no. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Can I get the Professor Oak video to play? You probably can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he can, he's just gonna watch it. Okay. He waits. I don't have a script prepared. It's basically no, I just oak. I know the script almost by heart. <laughs> yeah. It's the red and blue script. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it in my brain for myself, so yep. no worries. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? No, I'm just <laughs> um, boy, my name's Milo. Uh but yeah. Kid and V, what are All you right. doing? Are you leaving the tangle alone? I don't for now. I don't okay. see any, anyone up here. Uh, I'm going to go check downstairs. Incredible. Thank you so much for checking here because I didn't expect <laughs> you to. <laughs> As you walk out, you see the Tangela climb back onto the bed and just kind of watch you from over the edge. <laughs> kind of like peeks behind from behind the plant and like stares at it. It immediately scrambles back under the bed. <laughs> Poor little dude. Or did it? It's shot. I would have Ivory go say hi, but I think I would get in trouble for having a Pokemon. Plus, you might start a battle in their house, and so far, everybody's yeah. really against battles yeah. indoors. Right? Probably. So, we just do we just start rummaging? Is that where I'm? Is that where we're at? Vita V uh, Professor Acacia. I mean, I'm gonna go check downstairs. Hi, Milo. Bye, Milo. Hi, no, um, Milo. Did you leave the tangle alone? Is it okay? He's kind of like distracted, still watching the video. <laughs> it ran away, and I couldn't get it, so it went under the bed again. Oh, okay, well, that's probably the best way for it to end. And look at that, the video's Professor! over. Okay. <laughs> All right. You head over to the downstairs door and, uh, or not door, but just stairs leading downstairs and you head down um, into what is a new area for, I think, probably all of you. You've never been here, V. But immediately you see, let's see, how much to reveal? Ah, where's my reveal? (laughs) Oh, God damn it. Hold on. There we go. Are we uh-huh. supposed to go down there? They don't they don't show this part during the tour. Shouldn't we just sit in the chairs, wait for them to come back? I mean, if that, we that sit and like... wait, we're gonna be there all day, Milo. <laughs> Adventure the, the doesn't wait on you. You gotta go chase it. Yeah. Come on, go. I mean, most of the professors kind of have a type where like if they are working on something, they will 
forget what week it is. Uh, so I'm not gonna wait that long. <laughs> That's all fair. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you immediately walk into this lab, and again, it's kind of messy-ish, but a little bit less so. Um, there's a lot of, like, plants everywhere. You walk past a couple of potted plants. There's also, in the back here, you notice a weird thing where, like, there's clearly computer stuff left over, but it's covered in ice and snow for some reason. Um, huh. But over here, as you go further in, you also see, like, another uh, plant bed. Um, and, like, a larger area, essentially. Are you still yelling? <laughs> yes. Okay. Professor Acrisha. <laughs> where... Where are we need to talk to you? All right. And as you walk over, um, you notice several things simultaneously. Uh, you hear from actually from behind you from like over in this area you suddenly hear a huh what wait a minute you'll never take me alive Hello? and then you see what? somebody bounce out um from behind like this wall over here oh, um wielding what is essentially just like a rolled up newspaper <laughs> um or actually not even a rolled up newspaper it's like a poster essentially um <laughs> a very, very tall and lanky person in what is clearly a professor's robe. Um, with kind of a little bit of wild hair and like glasses pushed up on their forehead. They look like they've been sleeping because half of their face has that kind of like darker quality you get when you like press it up against something. Mm -hmm. And they just look generally like they've just woken up from a nap essentially, but they bounce out at you. And they just go, what was that? <laughs> Intruder alert? What the hell? The Hold on. You see, this he, he's being weird gearing up like he's about to dive at this man. Okay. Or woman. Like, immediately. Okay, yeah. Oh. Is Discord being a thing? Yeah, a little bit. I think we're back, maybe. Oh. I will wait. Maybe. Patiently. And meanwhile, okay, I will no, post. No, sorry. There we go. Yeah, we are. We are good. We. I think I missed okay. like, the later half of their introduction, but I can hear now. That's fine. I will post <laughs> a little picture in the art and stuff Discord channel, um, so you can I see guess, yeah. the full. Um. But yeah, they look s sincerely more sleepy than this, <laughs> and are just kind of like rubbing their face and then slowly lower the roll and just look at all of you and squint and just go. Who? What? Why are you in my house? Wait a minute. Don't hit me. Hold on. We need to talk to you. Okay. Are you? What are we waiting for? <laughs> are you? Kide and Miller and. Nope. Yeah, I I'm Kide. That's Miller. He points to Myla, and that's W. 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 Yeah. No, that sounds oh. right. Oh. Yeah, that's us. Wait. Yep. Okay. What? That's- I didn't expect you to come for a while. Uh, what day is it? Shit, what day is it? Um, Tuesday? I wanted to say Tuesday, too. Why, why do we both feel like it's Tuesday? <laughs> it's just, it's just, just a Tuesday day. Just because the day with Monday. the- Yeah, exactly. The test and the train would have been on a Monday, yeah. Yeah. Um. Cool. Yeah. You also kind of like glancing around V right behind you, you realize now that you hear the sound of water and you glance away from the professor for just a bit and you see that in the back here there's like an entire fucking pond that the tiles of this floor have been like torn up and an entire fucking little pool of water has been built directly into it alongside all of like the plants, the planters and stuff like that. That's pretty rad. Immediately gets distracted and goes to look at it. Okay, she's like, hey, don't worry, hey, come back. Yeah. Hold on. This is really cool. Oh, God, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's they're gonna be not useful. Are there Pokemon in there? What do you see, V? Are there Pokemon in here? <laughs> Roll me a perception. To stick his hand in. Or I guess investigation. V 
15. You stick your hand in, you get a lot of rocks, but you immediately, as soon as you stick your hand in, you feel something moving, and you seem to mm. grab something for just a moment before it slips away. It feels very slippery. And as you look up, you uh, see out of the corner of your eye the other side of the pond get disturbed, and something blue jumps out of the water and onto one of the lilies that is floating on it, and then turns around oh, and you? stares at you you like what the fuck dude <laughs> who are you what uh, yeah, this person this person's definitely a pokemon professor uh kid kind of turns back like i kind of not gonna lie i kind of doubted you what excuse me what just because i'm young you think i haven't heard that before who the fuck wait why do you kind of look familiar hold on a second you were like you, you were like half asleep down here we've been calling for like how long? How long have we been here, my little? How long has it been? You watched that whole video. And we never found him, and we were yelling the whole time. Look, uh, I was free. Look, listen, child. Do you understand? Do you know what a thesis is? <laughs> no. No, you don't. You're like eleven. Wait, twelve. Wait, fourteen. Yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why 14. the fuck do you look familiar? Hold on a second. And like they fish into their pocket, pull something out, squint, flip their glasses down on their face, and go. Aster? Are you? Wait. Are you related to the Asters? Kind of looks confused. Like, yeah? What? Oh. Are you so so certain? Don't say that. Did I do something? Not yet, but I'm kind of surprised by the. Well, I guess. It... Yeah, whatever. Um. Didn't know. No, I guess I did know that Astros had a kid, but when he said that he had kid, I didn't realize the name was kid. 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 Very yeah, I get that a lot. Okay then, cool. So, um, <laughs> you, the spiky one. That. Let me pet your frog. Don't touch it. Oh, no, not this. Yeah, again. that's just Let gonna make it, it worse. Uh, he's V. Hi, I'm Milo. <laughs> he holds out his hand. Professor is kind of like, holds out their hand as well to shake it, but also is clearly distracted by V, who is like reaching across <laughs> the pond. Roll me a dexterity check, V. No, don't fall in, V. Yeah. <laughs> he probably will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, you fall in. Immediately, this Pokemon, <laughs> the frog, is like off Fuck. of the lily and immediately disappears back into the water and you face full face first and are now soaked. Good thing you have some extra underwear. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, uh, V? Uh, wet. Ew. Yep, best way to learn. Don't do that. I just said it and then you did it. <sighs> there isn't anything bad in there, right? I got a, a, some of it in my nose. Yeah, there's a flesh-eating Sharpedo. Stay out. Ooh, wait, V? No! Oh, good. Yeah, this is great. No, you, 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 why do you also look familiar? Get back here. Where the fuck your name is? What? W? W? V? No, v. those letters. Just, just V. Cool. V, get back here. Please. <laughs> Maybe. Yuck. It tastes like pond water. Yeah, that's because it's pond water. Genius. <laughs> good to know. <sighs> Are there amoebas? Am I going to die? Yes, probably. Eventually, we all will. <sighs> cool. Right. <laughs> cool. Um, when, when is he gonna die? What's the time frame? I'm not a... can't see the future. Future sight's a little bit beyond my level. Look. Alright. Um, rubs their face a little bit. Since you're here, I suppose I'm gonna remind you of the rules. Uh, I'm reminding you now Whoa. that I'm technically... Or the rules. Hold on, I'm getting there. I just need to remind you now, because I'm technically the one responsible for you. Given that I'm probably going to be your sponsor, I'm assuming that's why you're here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Since yeah. I'm your sponsor, yes, for the first leg of Congrats. the Pokemon journey, any you stupid got three shit. Sponsors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've got three sponsoring thing babies. All right, look, just listen. Hey, any stupid shit you do comes back to me. So don't do stupid shit. Rule number one. Don't fuck around, because you <laughs> will find out. 
No, don't. Rule number one, don't fuck around, because you will find out. Rule number two. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, you're carrying your creatures of immense power. Not yet, but you will. If you finish listening to this, I'll actually give you Pokemon. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> okay. You're carrying creatures of immense power. They're not toys. Okay? So don't fuck around. Rule number three. When you catch wild Pokemon, you are to stay as far away as possible from the Pokemon for your own safety. Do not attempt to catch the wild Pokemon until you've weakened it. Wild Pokemon will not automatically like you. Do not feed the wild Pokemon random human food because it might be toxic to them. Do not give cake to wild Meowth. Do not give chocolates to random Growlithe you see in the grass. Keep your Pokemon close to you and healed up so they can actually do their job in defending you. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Rule number four. When you're battling other trainers, you are allowed to battle in designated battle areas, and that's it. Do not start Pokemon fights in the streets. You will be arrested, and I will get in trouble. Technically, you're not allowed to fight while trainers outside of designated areas at all. Yes, in the, even in the wild. Uh, uh, there's gym locations on most routes designated for battling, so you can just go inside one of those. If you're caught battling in the wild without protection provided to yourself in the environment, you will be arrested and I will get in trouble again. I will get in trouble. I have had far too many hottie kids walk away with a Charmander and think they're hot shit and then start a fucking forest fire because they can't control their Pokemon. <laughs> like, points to all of you, pointedly. <laughs> or their Pokemon can't control themselves. Did we lose acres of habitable land? Yes. Did that trainer lose their license and their Pokemon? Also, yes. Go to a gym. Battle inside a gym. There are walls fortified to withstand you and all your stupid ass decisions. Rule. Okay. Any questions thus far? Is it like a hard only fighting gym? Yes. How do we get a warning? Is there like a strike system? Uh, if you don't set any on fire, they might let you get away with it, but I wouldn't test it. Uh, Got it. Look. Um, Why do you say so many naughty words? I thought you. Were, I thought we were children. <laughs> looks at you long and hard and goes, Do you know what a thesis is? Do you know what a doctorate <laughs> is? Do you know how little I care? Hey, this uh, this man ate the quiz, okay? He like cut us a slack. Squints a little bit and goes V Right? Yes. Yeah, I Maybe. see your test scores. Anyway. Rule what? number four. No <laughs> They said that it wouldn't be available. Rule number four. No riding a bike indoors. I don't know why I have to fucking say this. <laughs> and at this point. You're beginning to kind of tune out, if you haven't already, and you hear a soft sound of some sort of melody. You think it's coming from, like, outside for a moment, and then it ramps up in volume, and you realize it's actually, like, a phone ringtone. Um, and around the same time, Professor Acacia slows down this lecture and begins to, like, absentmindedly pat their pockets. It keeps talking and goes, uh, also, I think this is obvious, but don't... Oh, fuck, where the fuck is it? Hold on. Uh, and as they continue to, like, push through some of the papers around on the desks around them, you spy um, a single long vine that stretches up from behind one of the tables that's holding a black smartphone, which it then like <laughs> taps against Acacia's arm and they glance at it and mutter oh, thank you. Uh, check the screen and then just frown a little bit and go uh shit okay you three hold that thought don't touch anything i have to take this and then they turn around to shove the phone um up like between their cheek and shoulder and turn away from you and like walk out and just go okay she's speaking i'm going to touch yes. everything yeah like that's that's, 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 that's right. we, we go looking for more pokemon <sighs> yep and what are you guys doing as acacia is like speaking on the phone Milo immediately makes gonna Go look over here. Okay. Poke an effort to stop them, but when realizing he's outnumbered, he realizes his <laughs> folly and size and just sort of follows. He doesn't participate, but he's there. So, he's all right, I, know, I, I know your hands off, Milo, but if you were to be involved in this, would you look more in the pond or would you go wander towards here, kids point towards the door? Oh, there's a door back there. Oh, no. Um, there's a weird frog in the pond. 
Yeah. There's well, also, you're, you're right, there's a weird, there's like a door, and I want to go through the door too. You know, I'm also, I, I also want to know what's down here, okay. but, uh, uh you kind of just go, no, nah, no, I'll wait, I'll wait, <laughs> just, just in case, they, they seem a little... No nonsense. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to. He said "fuck" to us like eight times, <laughs> and he was. Yeah. We we're like, we're. I mean, all right. Don't get me wrong. I feel pretty it's mature kinda... for my age, but we are still kids, so I don't think he's one hundred percent no nonsense. He did <laughs> say like that it wasn't. He did say it wasn't a hard no to battles outside of gym. It, what he basically said was, "Don't get caught." So, like, that's we're pretty cool, right? Sometimes. Kind of yeah. what I heard too. It was it was less don't get caught and more don't get me in trouble. Right. Shit. Like everything kind of just sort of revolved around to don't get them in trouble. Like just now, do you, also don't do you, start fires. Do you think that counts stuff from prior to us being sponsored? I was about to no. ask, should we tell them about the Onyx fight? No. <laughs> Well, See, I'm, nothing. I'm more talking about our whole espionage, like, put them on blast digitally, and then he finds out after he sponsored us that Sylph is ready to bust our <laughs> shit in. That nah, too. Right. Yeah. What, what, I mean, it's like, I, I, I it's lean like, in the direction of yes, Juvie. tell them. They should know. <laughs> it's like, it's like Juvie, nothing you do there before you become a legal little, like, Pokemon trainer that nothing counts. I mean,. Everything that we did was after we had our provisional license. V, we were no. technically trainers. Nah, don't, don't. Maybe pretend like it happened before we did that. <laughs> so the train crashed on the way to sell it on. That doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think they'll be able to like reverse engineer that we were coming from there post tip. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure they date and time. Will we do these exams for like record keeping's sake? Yeah. Did you know that they were going to be able to see the test scores? I mean, like oh. I said, I suspected. <laughs> Why did they get a copy of it? Because I mean, they got to sponsor us. They got to know who's yeah. like who they're dealing with. They might have had. It, just think, if any of us had done terrible, he would have had to spend like three hours explaining <laughs> extra stuff. That would have been a lot of fucks. That's a lot of fucks to really? give. <laughs> what what's your definition of terrible? I mean, like passing. That's not terrible, right? No. I Me, mean, I, yeah, I consider failing terrible. So, okay, yeah. like none none of us fail. I right. mean, yeah. I didn't do super great because I made some decisions on what I assumed to be proper etiquette outside. Of <laughs> <laughs> There were several questions that I may or may not have thought went one way, and it does not. But yeah. I still passed, so yeah, that, that's what matters, right? But what did you actually get, B? Um, what was the lowest you could score and pass? Oh, that no, what that that's real like. A question. What? What is oh. it? <laughs> it was probably. Don't make assumptions. It was probably something like thirty out of fifty is the lowest. Right. Definitely better than that. Okay. Well, that's. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> because you passed, so you had to do better mm -hmm. than the bare minimum. But. Exactly. He kind of looks over his shoulder. Is Acacia still on the phone? Ah, uh, yeah. You hear them talking like. I don't know, are you tuning in or just checking to see if they're distracted? I was just checking to see if they were distracted. No, they're still, like, talking on the phone. It seems like in the middle of, like, a conversation. You see them swear a couple of times. <laughs> Again, but... I, you know, I just, like... If they can get our test scores, they probably have access to other records about us, like, you know, the whole incident report, since they're supposed to, like... Like they just said, be responsible for us. Um, I don't know. I've just, I've just always found that being forward with information tends to go better than trying to keep secrets, especially from people that you're asking favors from. 
asking, but if you tell everybody everything, then they get mad at you most of the time. Well, that's I found. the things you do make people <laughs> mad at me. It's not true. Not always true, but people always don't get mad. Also, be careful where you walk. You're dripping everywhere. Yeah, yeah you made a... It's, it's... That's their fault. <laughs> Um, Milo, why don't you go ahead and roll me a perception check yeah. since you're kind of in front of the. Perception is a 13. Hmm. You're in front of this large pot filled with various things. You probably actually. Hmm. Roll me like poker knowledge just for fun. <laughs> 12. Okay. Um, you don't recognize all of these, but you do recognize that they're all plants used to grow, like, not tree-based berries, but, like, bush-based berries that you could potentially grow indoors. So you take a gander that this is probably something that they're growing, like, as, like, a natural, organic, like, way to feed their Pokémon. Um, and then it's you drugs. see one of the, like, what you thought was a sprout moving. You know, kind of like lean forward. Okay. Somebody in there. And immediately, it. as soon as you uh, say that, a little face pops out. <gasps> Hi. There's another little guy. What is that? I. Do. Would Milo? Does he know what it is? That's a good question. Roll me another Arcana. Roll me another Poke knowledge. <laughs> no <Nope. laughs> problem. Nope. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, I have no idea. V, for the sake of clarity, the door's locked. <laughs> but... Oh, uh, you probably you, had, huh? You knew we were going to try to go in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will say, to quell oh, your <laughs> to quell your worries, you think that this might lead back out onto, like, into the backyard, essentially. Oh, okay. It based on I was going to say, how distracted are they? But if it goes outside, <laughs> then... Okay. You, you think, you think. You're not sure, but... Yeah. Anything's possible. All right, then. Then how distracted is a uh, is Acacia? Acacia is in the middle of the conversation, and all you hear is like, "Look, I got it this morning. I read through it, but look, I'm not a special ev evolutionary variation. Remember, what the hell am I supposed to know about? No, I know that, right. but yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go try to lockpick it. Okay, roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna sidle up beside him and look at this Pokemon wall. <laughs> v goes to break into the professor's. It's like its head out. has a little grass hat on it. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> hey, buddy. And he'll kind of hold out his hand to just like try to. I mean, it's too small to like shake its hand, but that's his go to. Okay. Um,. V, you're actually getting somewhere on this unlocking thing, and you're like, hell yeah, I'm gonna do this. And just as you hear the click, at the same time, there is suddenly movement by your shoulder, and you see another vine wrap around the door handle, and oh. just as it begins to swing oh. open, it slams shut. And okay. as, as you look over behind you, you see an Ivasaur standing there, kind of glaring oh. just a little bit. Well, okay, you know what? I was kind of thinking I was a little sketchy on the professor at first, but apparently he knows my folks, and he's also got a bunch of Pokemon, so now I'm coming around. Maybe maybe he is on the up and up, guys. <laughs> I mean, most of the professors, I would hope, have Pokemon. That's kind of their job. The I, was, I, I wasn't entirely convinced <laughs> they were the professor based on coming at you with a poster ready to kill, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have a, a way about him, but he's got a he's got an Ivysaur and he's got a little chest in here. This is fucking just, cool. Just goes over and like stares down the Ivysaur. Roll an intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> but this little guy kid will point at the chestpin. Definitely not from Kanto. No, 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 no. I think the, the starters they normally go with. For grass or like this guy here except younger it's a bulbasaur um, i've never seen one like this 
with the Ivasaur, you glare at it, <laughs> give it your best shot. It seems entirely unimpressed. <laughs> and it kind of like takes its vine and begins to wrap them around your thieves' tools. No. <laughs> I immediately like pull away. I was sort of just You're like, gonna your thieves' tools, dude. I was sort of like, no. Ah. no, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and roll Mine. me a uh, strength saving throw. <laughs> or a strength check. Let's do contested strength. Oh, no. Right. Just takes it and like runs away if he can. All right. Go ahead and roll. Uh. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'm so rolled shockingly low, only an eight, so they're gonna, yeah. You manage to get away and they just kind of glare at you, or after you, rather. Mine, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sore. And Milo will kind of like crouch down next to him. Yeah. Hi, Milo. <laughs> He's just gonna introduce himself to every Pokemon here. <laughs> oh, that's this adorable. Man, Milo, wholesome, yeah. <laughs> Incredibly wholesome. Um, yeah, Ivasaur just kind of glances back up at you, observes you for a little bit, seems to think it over, opens its mouth and just goes, Sar! Sar, yeah! <laughs> um, you see that it's actually, like, got a little bit of, like, dirt stuck around all over it, and you're beginning to realize that you probably walked right past this thing, and it was sleeping in a planter. Because now that you think of it, you saw like a familiar plant over here-ish, but you assumed it was just a plant. But you think that maybe it was like a Pokemon bed that was designed to look like a planter? No. That's really cool. Had a nice comfy little bed, was taking a dirt nap. Yep. The good kind <laughs> of dirt naps. Not the, not the bad kind. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I almost be, gonna... like I feel like we should go on a little scavenger hunt because this man's got Pokemon everywhere apparently. Right? Are these actual Pokeballs? These are actual Pokeballs, but as you reach for them, you hear another sound, and V, you actually turn around and you see that there is a little okay. creature curled up on this uh, chair right by the computer. It blends in because it's kind of yellow, like the chair itself is, but then you see two ears pop up, and it sits up and looks over at you. You just crouch it down. What are you? <laughs> so cute. It gives a big yawn. Just kind of looks at you. A little bit unimpressed. Seemingly. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> just slowly reaches out to pet. <laughs> Roll a poker handling. <laughs> Very carefully. All the Pokemon have not been super nice. But... Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, you, well. you reach out to pet this thing, and it kind of pauses, and you pause. And then you see that it seems to assess you, and then tilts its head forward and kind of, you know, bumps it with its forehead. Oh. I love it. Heck yeah. Just <laughs> sits down and pets, the, pets whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Milo will sit between the grass Pokemon. It's like, yeah, if you want to go look around, I, I think V's doing that. And see what we see. We still oh, sit yeah. between these guys. Scoof between Bob's or Ivysaur and Milo. How big is this Ivysaur? It's pretty long. Actually, roll me a Poke Knowledge check as well, kids, since you, you know quite a bit about Pokemon from your parents, etc. <laughs> I do, but not with Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot four. <laughs> yeah, I, I made the argument to uh, swap out one of my other proficiencies for Arcana, and I was like, fuck, that's right, that was Pokemon knowledge. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, kid, you don't know much, but like this dinosaur is actually pretty large. In fact, it's on the larger <laughs> end of the species. Oh, sorry, are you bumping out again? Yeah, I was, but it's all good. Okay. We're back. Yeah, yeah. the most of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this Ivysaur is actually pretty big. In fact, it's like on the larger side of what you've seen. It's, um, you don't know much more than that, but like, it looks like it's pretty well taken care of. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go down here and check. You find anything down here, V? Found a cat. I think. I don't... Or a fox? <laughs> a little like... Uh, I don't think that's a cat. 
<laughs> it's cute. It likes me. I love it. <laughs> it is oh, extremely yeah. fluffy. <laughs> All right. Does it have hair coming out of its ears? Um, Milo, probably like as you turn away from Ivasaur and turn back, you see that the creature that you saw in the planter has now like dug further out of the earth and is now sitting kind of on the edge watching you very, very intently and curiously. Buddy? And he'll kind of reach up one hand and kind of like go to to scruff him on the top of the head. Okay, roll handling. And I, can't really, I need to get a better picture of Chespin because that was so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, eh. This one first. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's kind of interesting because like you go over to pet it and then as your hand touches the spines on the top you realize that they're kind of sharp Ow. Oh. it doesn't like hate it or anything but you just kind of stab yourself essentially yeah it's like <laughs> kind of brushing up against a spruce tree or a cactus yep or a cactus hey, buddy and he'll kind of just sit there between the two of them and just i don't know Okay. Enjoy being around Pokemon and just having it just be they're here. Right? Okay. Just chill and not attacking us and mur- mm-hmm. like trying to kill us on a train. Yeah. <laughs> right? Alright. Right? They're not, you know, like having to work. Mm-hmm. They're just they're just living here. Like they just kinda like looks down at the dirt in the planter. I mean, this is his like this is his house. His little place to chill. He got all his food. <laughs> They're just out here vibing, you know? Kids yeah. are gonna kinda sit right here by the water to see if we can see that little frog boy that was jumping around in there. Sure. Roll me a perception. Also, I love the Pokemon, but I need to know what's in this Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about the maple? We'll That's get to nice. that. Um, Alright, well, kid, as you look over, you do not see the frog that you saw previously, but you do see what you think is movement, and you're slowly beginning to realize that, yeah, you can kind of track its movement through the pond. It blends in very well, but you can see the ripples underwater as it moves back and forth, and then the longer you look, the more you realize that it's beginning to move a little bit closer towards you. And suddenly you see, like, about half of this Pokemon's face poke out of the water. Just the eyes, essentially. And it just <laughs> kind of blinks up at you. The gigantic eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it just gives it a friendly smile and a little wave, like, so. It actually lifts one of its, like, legs out of the water and also flexes the fingers as if it's <laughs> trying to imitate your wave. Oh, yeah, little dude. That's adorable. <laughs> all right. They're all just kind of hanging out. Is living your best life in this basement, I guess. <laughs> right? Do you think these I mean, are, it seems pretty cool. Do you think these are the starters that Acacia has? I mean, I've tracked, never, right? I mean, I've never seen these things ever before, though, so I don't think so. I mean, we're usually it's like the normal Pokemon. We're like shouting this to each other from across <laughs> the three places that we've camped with the. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they they're not from Pallet. Maybe they brought them from wherever they came from. <laughs> Why would they do that? It'd be a lot easier to just get, like, a Charmander and Squirtle and Bulbasaur. Yeah. They're kind but, of all over the place. I don't know. Maybe they just want to shake things up a bit. They do seem, uh, unique. Weird. I, I like unique. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're a professor. Maybe, maybe they're studying them for something. Maybe. Most uh, most professors have some sort of like field of expertise that they go into. Uh, they were saying a lot about a thesis and a doctorate. Send their doctorate. V, I would say that as you're kind of shouting across to your friends, uh, you pick up the pokeball that is on the table in front of you, and mm-hmm. you pop the button, expecting it to go slightly transparent, but instead it just pops open and it's just empty. 
Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like looks at the Pokemon here and then looks at Kid and slowly pockets it. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Another free Kid Pokemon. comes wrong. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> you do you, V. Just don't get caught. I'm not going down with you. <laughs> uh, I need to find something. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, do you go over to the other Pokeball as well? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hold on! I didn't actually download <laughs> enough sprites because I didn't realize you guys would be doing this so fast. So hold on. <laughs> God, Surprise, I have to you look at everything. I have to be prepared for yeah everything, <laughs> everything. We will catch everything yep. and all of them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you po pop open that Pokeball as well? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. This one actually opens. And a thing comes popping out. It's another thing that you've never seen before. Um, weird. One stuff. second. It is round. What are you? And it is white. Hold on a second. Well, my little guy uploads. What the fuck is that? It looks up at you, opens its eyes, blinks a little bit, and goes. Arr! Hello? What are you? I guess you can't talk. What is this? Kid, what's that? I mean, I could try to make a poke knowledge because Kid's been all over, so he, he's got a lot of exposure. When we, when we level up finally, I'll definitely be able to grab poke knowledge, <laughs> but until then, I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I can give it the old college try. <laughs> you definitely Go can. Oh, okay. Um, I would say, kid, you probably connect um, it to something you overheard Acacia say while they were on the phone, where, like, you heard them say evolutionary variation, and that kind of, you know, gives you a little nagging feeling that you've heard about something about this before, and you realize that this is probably a Pokemon from a different region. Now, you've heard about Galar before, You've never personally been there, but you know that, you know, <clears throat> it's it's just a different region. Um, and you get the sense that this is, like, one of two types of Pokemon. You've never specifically seen a Darumaka, but you think this might be it. You're pretty sure you saw it, like, in a book somewhere. Yeah, the one I saw was definitely red and not this. That much I can tell you, me. <laughs> Are they, is it still like regular or is it like special? I can what tell you, you that bit? there are splits in the lines based on region. I haven't been to every region, but my folks have been around. And I know that, like, just as an example, Meowth has several variations. Really? One of them evolved into a really fat cheek thing. It's weird. <laughs> I'm assuming that's, that's what this is. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Not a hundred percent on it, but you know. What do you what do you do, little guy? It kind of follows you with its eyes, but doesn't say anything. But then, as you look up, you see another very familiar face pop up from inside a trash can <laughs> that you haven't noticed before. Oh shit, there's another one. Yeah, I They're just saw it too. <laughs> yeah, um, it pops up, tries to climb out of the trash can, fails because it's so heavy, and like tips the trash can over, mm -hmm. and runs up and jumps onto the table and immediately stands next to the other one. And they like automatically seem to link hands and <laughs> stare up at you in unison. That's, that, the, that's the one I know. That's the one. That one. Okay. 
I mean, red, that usually means like fire types, right? Uh, do you know any fire moves? <laughs> Can you use ember? The red one blinks. Roll me, mm, roll me a poker handling check. <laughs> Okay. Hold on a second. I'm loving this. I this is. <laughs> we, we're causing we're chaos. Well, you they're having an argument on the phone. Are <laughs> you are um immediately yeah. you see <laughs> you see this thing blink and suddenly open its mouth, puff up its cheeks, and goes. And it, like, blasts a little puff of smoke with, like, little embers inside of it directly at your face. Roll me just a constitution oh. saving throw really quick. No, not at me. How did you not see that coming? <laughs> Why would he do it at me? Okay. No. Hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah, you manage not to do anything. You manage not to, like, you know... Uh, <laughs> not to inhale or anything, so you're probably oh. fine, but it's extremely hot, and you feel like your eyebrows may have been singed. And immediately, as soon Ow. as you do that, you hear a voice go, Ruby! No! I've told you a thousand fucking times! God damn it! Ruby! It ah! wasn't entirely your Pokemon's fault. Oh. <laughs> And then she get, like runs over the pond and splashes water on his face. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back. You guys you guys hang out here. I'll be right back. Um <laughs> you Acacia, okay, Acacia goes over here and like picks up Ruby, who she's like wiggling immediately, and Acacia just tucks one Durumuka under one arm. And then as the <laughs> other one is like beginning to bounce away, catches that one as well and goes, Sapphire, you're not going anywhere either. Come here. Come, come. God, God, it. It's just like has one Pokemon under each arm. They're both very round. And Best just goes, Darumaka. who let you out of your ball? Ugh. You were still in timeout from the like time that. you iced my freaking hard drives. Ah, no, it, fine. It Go back like in the trash. Found it. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> and they march over here and go, oh, hi, Fennekin. Ah, uh, go. Go in here. Go into your little house. And she puts back the Rumaka in the back in the trash. <laughs> which <laughs> seems, seems kind of rude, but like, the Rumaka <laughs> seems to like this. She's just like, Ruby, stay. And just like shoves it into the trash can, and the Rumaka just makes it a little happy purring sound. <laughs> um, okay. I, I have many questions. Um, oh, that's what, right. is that? what 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 is that? Because I don't know any of these Pokemon, and that's awesome. Also, can we have it? Or one of them? That was or a lot of, of them. Bit. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of like pointed pointed at each of them individually, and the only one he didn't point at was Ivysaur. He okay. was Ivysaur. <laughs> yeah. Um, Professor kind of looks around and goes, oh, for love, yeah, this is a mess. Um, That is... Uh, that is a Unovan Darumaka points over to the red one, specifically this is a Galarian Darumaka. It's an variant because I study evolutionary variations. Uh, and um, that in the pond is Froki. That over there in the plant bed is Chespin. This is Fennekin. Yes, you were. And like kind of scratches a little bit before clearing their throat. And um, still has the... Yeah. mean nothing to me. <laughs> Still has, like, the Durumaka tucked under one, under one arm like they're holding a basketball. <laughs> um, just goes, right, yes. Ah, yeah, that's right. You probably want your starter Pokemon, huh? Are you sponsoring us, please? Can I have a Pokemon? And my <laughs> friends? I mean, I don't have much of a choice, do I? Nope. Definitely not. I mean, do, Can't do say you... no. Nope. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even give them the option. <laughs> you do not have a choice. You have to sponsor us. Those are the rules. Yep. I just sort of walks between Kid and Milo, turns around, and looks at V, squints, and then looks back at the professor and just goes, Sar. 
Don't snitch on me. <laughs> <laughs> it like humps and turns around and goes over to <laughs> the professor. Immediately wraps Come on, its... Earl. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Sorry, sorry. It like wraps its vines around the Durumaka and takes it from the professor and like walks away <laughs> with it. Like it's like it's his no. job now. <laughs> you, you have some really awesome Pokemon. Oh well, that's. Oh, um, thanks. I guess that's very Please. kind of you. Uh, get some. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, oh they're handful. <laughs> um, <laughs> they kind of He's look over at every time he says it. <laughs> <laughs> They kind see of like a tiny little twinge in Milo's <laughs> like his eye every time he says it like like just static like ah, no mm -hmm. you can't just you can't just ask and he wants to try to stop him but he knows he can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's interesting because like the professor kind of looking at Milo, looking like pretty considering like huh okay this kid's not bad looking over a kid like okay I kind of know what this one's about glances over at V and just. Suddenly their eyes narrow as the sleepiness from before is now gone, replaced with something a lot sharper. And they narrow their eyes and look directly at V and go, Wait a minute. <laughs> you. you gonna give me a Pokemon? Are awesome. You. You, 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 our, you, our, you. Our look cool. familiar. What? I've seen that Love. face on another one before. Wow, the resemblance that is seems uncanny. unlikely because it's mine. Incredible. Wow. Hmm. Kind of looks back down, uh, pulls something else out of their pocket, flips to another piece of it. Now that you see, they're actually going through what looks like like a card, essentially. Reads <laughs> something and goes. Oak. You. You're an oak. Potentially. Yep. That tracks. Wow. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Wait a minute. Kind of puts their hands on their hips. If you're... If you're his kid... Which I'm gonna assume you are until you correct me. How come you don't know what these three are? Because they're not from around here? Yeah, but... I don't think... I thought he... Did She's it. gonna get hit. <laughs> we should back away, kid. This is getting dangerous. Huh. <laughs> we go hang out with Jasmine. <laughs> Chespin helpfully takes a little bit of dirt and puts it on your head as if like in an it's attempt Chespin. to hide you. <laughs> he kind of like, crouches down behind the, the plants. Now we can both hide in the, in the dirt. <laughs> Acacia! He has just been mm -hmm. getting like slowly more and more stone faced as they continue to talk. Acacia just kind of like leans further and further in squints really hard and goes, huh. What? Hmm. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Well, I guess that's, um, uh, hmm. That's fitting. Yeah, hey, kids. What? You want some Pokemon, huh? Can you finish a sentence? V. <laughs> um, Abort. Quit while you're ahead. I'll finish <laughs> something. Right, 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 right. Fine. You want a Pokemon or not? Yes, give me a Pokemon. Do you know any other words? Like, please? Have you ever heard that one? I not guess from a lot of people now. Wow. That actually kind of tracks from what I know of him, so... I guess I should probably... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's actually a little bit sad. Alright, fine. Kind of turns around and walks away and looks over at Kid, who's presumably still sitting next to the pond. 
Yep, he's just chill- he was watching the whole time, just giggling, enjoying <laughs> the back and forth between the professor <laughs> and me. They just kind of like rub their forehead and then turn around and flop down onto this little bench like thing that kind of protects the pond. Very casual like. Um, and just kind of start speaking and go, all right, yeah, I guess I can do that. Um, automatically, since you guys took the test in Celadon, all of your information was sent to me as it was assumed that I was going to be your primary sponsor. So if you'd like some Pokemon, I certainly yep. have these three who have been uh, given to me by a certain somebody who did a little bit of tourism in Kalos. So obviously they're not going to be entirely native, which is why it took me a little bit to, uh, I wouldn't say rehabilitate them, but they were quite unused to the environment. And I'm going to be honest with you, they're not used to you know, Kanto, and they're not used to being here yet. They've been through quite, you know, a change. Um, normally, I probably wouldn't give these to you, given the fact that giving you the standard Kanto starters that have been reared for this specific purpose would be a little bit easier in both you and the Pokemon, but... You know, I feel like probably this will be fitting. Very well. Well, there you have it. Look at that. That one over there. Chespin. Grass type. Oh, is it happening again? Sorry, buddy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Discord's being really yeah. dumb. It just it just stopped. It was just... Uh, yeah, they're just kind of <sighs> like sitting on the edge and just point yeah, over well. to Chespin and go that over there. Chespin, grass type. Uh, nice little bunny. Uh, this over here is Froakie, a little bit more reserved, uh, water type, obviously. Um, this over here, uh, uh, that little diva is a uh, Fennekin. So, uh... I mean... I kind of like this guy. He's really cool. Guy? Girl? I, I, I don't know. Actually, that's a good point. Do you want me to roll now, or do you guys want to roll? I want to roll. You want to roll? roll. Okay. Go ahead and roll All me right. two D100s. The first one will be shiny status. The second will be, one will be gender. Okay. So much pressure. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right. Um, and I believe all the starters have the same gender distribution. So they are... Hold on a second. Unless you roll like super amazingly in managed to get a female, I Yeah, guess. yeah, because the females are more rare. Where's my freaking Bulbapedia results? Damn. <laughs> yep. So Chespin is, uh... Ooh. Nice! Uh, Chespin's a boy. Um, no shiny. Um, no shiny for the Fennekin, unfortunately, but Fennekin's a girl. Um, Hell yeah. And then the Froakie's apparently also a girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. Crazy, because it's actually rare to... Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> it's like 87 to 12. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like 87 to 13, essentially. So. Heck yeah. This guy, and he'll kind of like try to pick him up and carry him like he was carrying Riolu. Okay. <laughs> right out the gate, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're small enough at this at this age. Yeah. He's actually like half the height of real. Life. <laughs> yeah, quite small. Acacia just kind of watches Milo a little bit. Seems kind of impressed, actually. <laughs> I think we've got a uh, a rapport going on. All right. Um, I would say Froki probably looks up at you, kid, and then after a little bit of contemplation, you feel something on your arm, and you feel- it's like- it's like clammy and wet, and you see that this Froki is slowly beginning to climb up your arm. Yeah, he'll hold his arm out for her, and be like, you wanna come with us? And she just continues climbing up your arm, over your shoulder, and like, the hands are kind of sticky a little bit, because Frog- um, but then just eventually, like, climbs on top of your beanie and just kind of settles there. Is 
she right, well, is well, she's well, mine. Yep. And Fennekin already kind of likes you, honestly, so... <laughs> v just picks it up like... Like, kind of like if you pick up a cat and hold it and, like, its legs are dangling. Yep. <laughs> it allows this. Like, her tail's <laughs> flicking a little bit, but nothing too bad. Um, Acacia actually glances over at V as well and goes, Hmm, that's kind of impressive, honestly. Uh, alright, well... Yeah. Can we practice? Practice what? What our Pokemon can do. Yeah, not in here, though. Oh, I guess you guys want to battle, huh? Yes. Battle, 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 battle. Yeah, obviously. If we're not allowed to do it outside, then can we do it in your house? Uh, no. There's a lot of stuff here that can get <laughs> broken, so don't do that, please. Um, also, I will have Jade and she, like, they point to the Ivysaur. And, like, I will call Jade, and she will physically throw you out of here if you try that shit, so... No, um... Try. Act there is a gym in Pallet. Like, you can just go there and battle, if you want. Is it close? Do we have to walk? It's... I mean, it's in the new city. It's outside of Old Town, but... We could head out, get something to eat, and then go to the gym. Actually, no, probably just, we just had lunch. So had I want to beat the shit out of Milo's new Pokemon. Hey. <laughs> don't say that. That's mean. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> it is mean. Sorry, give me one sec. I'm assigning the I Pokemon mean, to you guys. <laughs> oh, yes. But, I mean, uh, you know, he, he, he's not entirely wrong. Um, So, I did have a question. Do you know what we're supposed to do? do first? Where we're supposed to go? Oh, or yeah. Or is there a supposed to? Or do we just sort of, like, spin do around, have... pick a direction, and go? <laughs> do you have any useful information for us? Hey, come on. I got nothing but <laughs> useful information. That's I'm uh, full of. Yeah, I guess, uh, huh. I guess you guys probably want to start getting your gym badges, huh? Yes. Immediately. Immediately. Well, it'll take a while. Um... You'll need these, first and foremost, and they pull out some cards, and they slap them down onto the table over here, and, um, yeah. Yes! Aww, give me, give me, give me. Actual, aw, oh, it's so cool. Oh, uh, yeah. For some reason, these loaded up a lot faster than the other ones for me. <laughs> um, but yeah. I will get you those... They're so pretty. Like, specific They're images. So awesome. Later on. Heck yeah. Oh, that's so great. Yep. Uh, and they kind of, like, slap them down, allow you guys to take them and go, uh, you will need these for quite a lot of things, so make sure not to lose them. You will need these... license? ...to get inside a gym, first and foremost, in order to battle and use the battle system in there. Uh, you will also need these as Pokémon Centers to uh, get any benefits, uh, such as room and board and the free meals they provide in there. You will also need it if you ever need to transfer a Pokémon back to me. Uh, all you gotta do is go into a Pokémon Center, insert these cards into the computer, there will be a slot for them to scan them, and then... Um, Anything you need to send back or need me to send to you, as long as it's within working hours, which for me, heh, every hour is a working hour. <laughs> anyway, um, any questions? I... Oh, that's right! Yes, yes, sorry about that. <laughs> yep. I forgot. Uh, well... Technically, technically... Any gym leader is supposed to be prepared to deal with any level. Anytime you go inside of a Indigo League sanctioned gym, you scan the cards, which means that the gym leader automatically knows how badges you already have. Now, every time you receive a badge, another badge uh, ID number is registered to your license. Uh, so, for example, if you go into a gym and you already have three badges uh, registered, the gym leader will know that they are meant to use a specific level of team for you, so to speak. So you can technically go anywhere, but 
Uh, I would say most people head down to Cinnabar first. That's Cinnabar. Take the ship, right? Out of the... Yeah, there is indeed a fairy that runs, and they kind of think on it for a moment, look up at the ceiling and kind of rub their chin. Mm, yeah, I think one comes every three days? Huh. I think actually the one days. that meant to have uh, everyone every three days so this if today is Tuesday, so oh yeah, that one probably left this morning. Well, God. You can Shit. probably catch another ship, I think. Actually, now that I think of it. Hmm. Yeah, I like you brats. You look fun. You know what? Let me text D. I think Captain D would be able to take you. Smaller ship, but yeah. hey. Are we going to Sounds like more of an adventure. I like it. Are we going to Please. <laughs> please, gotta please give them a chance to ask me yeah well, let me ask um, I think she should be free she's usually free uh, pulls up like a phone out of their pocket and begins to tap something out yeah also, out of character when's my birthday <laughs> I can't see it I actually I, I actually made your card first and I made it your actual birthday <laughs> or but actually yeah. no your actual oh, birthday yeah. actually no hold on because I mixed these no. around not actually birthday you're not your actual birthday I originally made it your actual <laughs> birthday but then I decided to reorder the way that I write the dates um, <laughs> can we all use our actual birthday just like month and day if you so wished the years are a little bit different. So if you look at your birthday, date of birth, the first day is the day. The, uh, the second date is the month. Uh, and the last one is the year. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know what you're looking at. It is indeed the month. Uh, all right. Yep. Well, now I'm confused, but okay. Yep, you were born on the eighth day of the 13th month. Hell yeah. That's how a lot of it's, it's how a lot of places outside the U.S. do it because you know day month year makes a lot more sense than yeah. month Mine, day year. Mine's the thirteenth month, so. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thirteenth Pokemon month. I'm confused, but okay. <laughs> I'll put you back it's on that. Got its own now. calendar. I will take it. Yep. I'm excited. I, I guess if there if it's got its own calendar, we probably can't use our actual birthdays then. <laughs> probably won't probably won't convert one to one, right? Not quite. Probably not quite, no. Okay. I, I sent you guys the actual individual cards, but that's so so awesome. Okay, alright. Uh, well Acacia checks. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. D's sometimes real slow to respond in text because she doesn't know what a text is. And I think she's just fucking with me, but she pretends to forget every time I text her. Uh, also, oh, Pokeballs. While we're waiting... Yeah, I'll say yes. But also, while we're waiting, uh, the... I don't even know what I would do it with, but he, he starts to, like... Almost cross out the other letters of his name. Fair enough. <laughs> That's what I kind of figured. Like a, a Sharpie or something that he finds. I'd say, yeah, roll an investigation to go digging through Acacia's stuff for <laughs> Sharpie. Shit. You don't find a Sharpie. Oh, yeah, Ruby, though, burn it a little bit. Burn the letters off. <laughs> Set the whole thing on fire. Um, <laughs> you, you do find, like, a little piece of tape, so you can put, like, some tape over it. That'll work for now. Yeah. Maybe you can ask them to make one with your real name. I think it's a matter of legal precedence, but I could try. I could always try. Um, Acacia walks away for a sec um, while you guys are talking and then comes back uh, with three Pokeballs. One of them is a nice, like, actually a different, slightly different shade of red than you expect from, like, the standard Pokeball. It's a little bit, like, more orange, I would say. Um, 
Another one is actually green topped, and the third one is blue topped. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, they kind of hold it up in their hand, kind of all three of them at the same time, and go, all right, here's the ones that I got. These are yours now. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I got it. Hold on, that's actually not all. Shoot, I haven't done this in a while. I didn't expect y'all to come at the same time. Give me a moment. I gotta get more stuff. Ugh, okay. Uh, where is it? Shoot. Uh, yeah. So, do, when, when do we tell them about Riolu and Evie? Um, like two weeks from now? <laughs> when it's maybe viable that we caught another Pokemon? <laughs> Think it's gonna take that long? I hope not. Okay, maybe like a couple days at least. You look up and you see um, Ivysaur watching you from behind the table. Stop eavesdropping. Ivysaur narrows its eyes again and goes, Sarr. So <laughs> that Ivysaur has it out for you. What were you... What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> it's just a narrowed eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He just looks at you and goes, Sorry, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just like the image of this Ivysaur walking around with the Darumaka held up by <laughs> the vines, just walking around yep. with it like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Throwing shade. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, eventually, uh, Acacia comes back again and is carrying a couple more things um, in their hand, uh, but they actually hold out their hand open, and this is no po not Pokeballs anymore. Po Pokeballs. Wow, what the hell happened there? <laughs> um, but instead, inside you see three very interesting, what look like rings. Half of them, um, half of the ring is clear, just like plastic or acrylic. Um, but the other half actually looks like it's made of like a dark metal, like a hematite or something almost. Um, and there's a little piece of like a chip that is set in there. Um, and Acacia kind of holds them out to you guys and go, all right, so um, these are your Pokeball rings. Uh, now, here's the thing. Every time you throw a Pokeball, if you don't register it to your Pokemon trainer ring, it will not come back to you automatically. These are magnetic. They have a range. So you need to actually sit down and make sure that it connects to the Pokeball, which is going to take about eh, 30 minutes for it to read. So it's like a tuning, essentially. Okay. 30 okay. minutes. You can you can you do it on Pokeballs that you just own? Like, before you use them? The idea is that, yeah, yeah, essentially. The idea is that it's not fast enough that somebody can just, like, sneak in and grab your Pokeball and re-register them to their own ring. And, you know, steal okay. your freaking Pokeball. Or with your Pokemon inside can of you, it. But... Can you re-register over somebody else's registration? If it's already, like, has a Pokemon in it? Yeah, it's complicated. Th this is only a magnetic thing. This is meant to attune to a certain set of Pokeballs, and then every time you throw a Pokeball, you know, to let out your Pokemon, the Pokeball will come back into your hand, so that you don't have to go crawling in the weeds for it. <laughs> uh, have you preemptively attuned those Pokeballs you gave us to these rings? Actually, no, because I didn't expect to have to give up these little guys. I have a couple of more <laughs> kids coming in later on after you, and... Honestly, I was going to give everybody their standard starters who, you know, have been raised for this explicit purpose, but you guys are a weird bunch and I feel like you'd probably be a good, well, a better match for these three than just letting them, you know, sit in my lab. Not that this is not a good setup. I mean, look at it. It's great. Fantastic. Somebody tracked water all over the floor. Um, <laughs> but... It was obviously... Hmm. <laughs> but... <sighs> <laughs> I guess this would be interesting, so I just... I guess you're I, getting them. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I, I love seeing new Pokemon, and I've never seen a Chespin before, and now I have a Chespin. I, I didn't expect speaking, that this morning. Speaking of, do we get Pokedexes? That was my other thing that I've taken in. Um, Y'all got phones. Yeah. 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 Hands the phone over. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna Does have it matter to. Matter if she gets broken. 
Yeah, my, mine's kind of beat up and hauled up. It's busted up fall. It still works. It's just, you know, seen better days. Yeah, I expect nothing less of an aster. Give me that. It'll work fine. Uh, all right. Um, like, mean to your family? No. Parents are... No, his parents are great. Very, very amazing researchers. Uh, just, you know. There's a certain... You know what? Nope, I'm gonna <laughs> stop talking. Give it, I'm just gonna take your phones. It's gonna take a little bit, because I gotta upload a lot. So just, like, don't touch anything again. Don't do any weird stuff. Again. Well, I mean, let's take the half an hour and get these rings attuned to their Pokeballs, and then that'll give Acacia time to update our phones with the Pokedex, and then hopefully D gets back to them and can give us a ride, and then we can go to Cinnabar. Sounds excellent. Jade, keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. And you hear from the other if side. You do anything, if you do anything weird to my phone, I'll know. Your phone's already weird, kid. Like I need it. <laughs> Violet will just sort of sit down on the floor because there isn't really any chairs in here. Yeah, there really is. It looks like a workspace, essentially. This is like a work, like a standing desk, these two. Um, so... He'll, uh, he'll just chill with Chespin and tune to the ring and uh, at least Chespin's Pokeball for right now. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Yep. So essentially every time after you catch a new Pokemon on a Pokeball, in order to register it, it's kind of all linked together, right? So you have your trainer card, uh, which will also be registered to your Pokedex as you're the owner of that Pokedex. And then every time you catch a Pokemon, it will also be registered if you spend enough time with that Pokeball, like 30 minutes, like I said, for attunement, it will be registered to your ring, and then automatically through the ring will be registered to your Pokedex as, like, a data transfer. Um, it's usually pretty synergetic, but... Sounds good. Um, it's kind of like if you wanted to do a trade, um, that's why you can take, like, another 30 minutes and essentially re-register a Pokemon into somebody else and make it into somebody else's Pokemon, which is why it takes a long time because you have to basically delete the data and overwrite it. And usually it doesn't happen without the trainer's permission, but there's right. a reason it takes Sometimes a long time. It does. Yeah. Go Team Rocket! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stealing all the Pokemon. Yeah. The entire time, actually, hmm. <laughs> v, what are you doing this whole time? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he probably sits and like man it's a bad idea but he, he tells Fennekin to go uh, like sneak up on Ivysaur and maybe tackle it you see the thing is Ivysaur is watching you this entire time <laughs> and <laughs> Fennekin goes around a long way. Okay, go ahead and roll a <laughs> roll a stealth check for Fennekin. <laughs> or a dex if <laughs> Fennekin doesn't have anything in stealth. Did we already get natures assigned to the Pokemon? I think because it's a starter, you got to choose your natures. Yeah. So I think when you sent Did me you that thing, that? I think you must have. When I when I made your I'm, Fennekin, oh, okay. we, had, we had chosen. You already did. Um, yeah, yeah. I can't okay. remember which one we chose. I forgot. Yeah. You can look at the stats versus the Pokedex. Hold on, actually, that's a good idea. Um, what's... Hold on, where's my right, Pokedex? It should be... I know that it's for Froakie. He's got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your Fennekin stats? Uh, can you read me off strength, dex, and uh, the other thing scores? Uh, 10, 13, 12, 6, 12, 10. 10, 13, 12... 6, 12, 10? So you got a minus in wisdom and plus in strength, which means that it is brave. Okay. Was it, was it brave? I can't remember which one we chose or what we did. Remember. I'm trying to find the natures because I, I, yeah. I think we went wisdom for... That's what I thought is that we thought. upped to wisdom, but I can't remember. If you want to change it right now, you can. Yeah, I'm trying to... That's I just input what I had. Or wait, 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 no, sorry. I'm looking at the Pokedex Fennekin, so that's not right. Um, wait, yeah. Shit, where is it? Ah! 
right? <laughs> Where, I, I just want to know, like, uh, wasn't it... Oh, you're right, you're right. It's minus in strength, because you have 10 in strength, but 12 in wisdom, which is plus. Mm -hmm. So yes, you are right, you are right. I'm just reading it wrong. I was okay. looking at the Pokedex Fennekin, which makes no sense. So yeah. careful. Mm -hmm. That was it. Careful, yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. Makes yeah. more sense. Uh, okay. I tried to open the player's handbook, and now roll 20 is lagged out the ass. Yeah. yeah. I have to open it. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, I have to start there putting it in GM notes. So hold on, nature, careful. And then uh, yeah. Fennekin was a girl? Yes. Gender, girl. Or female, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Um, And then Chespin is a boy And the, what's the nature, in their energetic? Male, and no, Riolu was supposed to be energetic. Uh, oh, okay. Chespin, I'll, I'll find Chespin's. Okay. I can't remember. He turned out grumpy. <laughs> yeah, real is grumpy. He's a, he's a grumpy boy. You're, you're right, though, because I think you were trying to um, count Riolu as your starter. Yeah, that's initially, and then when Earth had mentioned Froki, we were like, wait, shouldn't we actually have starters? Right, yeah. That would make more sense. And it made more sense, so we went with that instead. Okay, I think... I don't know what you made your chestpins then, because I just copied whatever you gave me. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Let me know when you find out, because I can change it. And then I think your Froki's nature was definitely energetic, right? Because I remember you telling me yep. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's got that plus, or she's got that plus index and minus charisma. Yep. <laughs> and she's currently on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling. Chilling. Frokian. Frokian. Yep. Where is, what number is that? No, that's not there. Uh, You've got to get them to level four so I can grab Protean for her. <laughs> All right. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I gotta, I'm trying to find the like, default chest pin. Mm -hmm. It's in the Pokedex if you need it, but... Well, I, yeah, I, I only have the PDFs. Oh, then hold on. I can get it for you a lot faster because I already have it in there. Um, the Pokedex Chespin is Strength 13, Dex 11, Con 13. He's plus Strength. Okay. Int 6, Wisdom 10, Charisma 10. Minus Wisdom. So he's the opposite of... So it's Karen. Brave. Brave. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Brave Chespin. Okay. Brave boy. All right. Then he can very not quite stealthily goes around this way to try to yeah. ambush you get Ivysaur. The, you get the feeling that Ivysaur is like very familiar with this because without even hardly <laughs> looking it takes out one like another one of its vines the one that's not holding the Galarian Durumuka up and like wraps it around Chespin and lifts it up into the air <laughs> what? 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 along no, with Fennekin. Fennekin. Not Chespin. Fennekin yeah sorry not Chespin Fennekin <laughs> <laughs> I was like what? no no my baby no, no. <laughs> come back that is beautiful little boy and then it begins to walk towards you, V, holding both of the Pokemon. <laughs> I'm holding all three of the Pokemon. All Hell three of them. <laughs> Fire Drumka is coming on? with him. Oh yeah, Fire Drumka is coming with. Him. No, he'll stay in his trash can. That's his home. That's his he little place. <laughs> um, but then, yeah, comes over to you, and then very pointedly puts the Fennekin back into your hands. Oh, thank you. And then roll a perception check for me. Set. Okay. Give me one sec. I need to roll something. <laughs> um. You, all you notice is that this Ivysaur is coming up to you and giving you back Fennekin. But before you know it, you like there's suddenly a noise of a Pokeball popping open, and you suddenly realize that the vine that it was using to hold Fennekin is no longer around Fennekin, but instead curving around towards your backpack. And the next thing you know, Ivory pops out. <laughs> oh. so uh, it rolled. It rolled a twenty-five on stealth. <laughs> <laughs> That's... that's mine. 
I just sort of looks over at Evie, looks back up at you, and just goes, Sorry. You are very judgmental. Shush. <laughs> oh no, I came I back and my... Evie's out. <laughs> I sort of did some pickpocketing. Oh no. It also has a good sense of smell, so it smelled the Pokemon on you, so and it rolled a 25 in stealth to um, pickpocket mm-hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> Did he take the Pokeball, or...? No, no, it just, like, opened the Pokeball, opened essentially. It. Yeah. V, like, hurriedly tries to, like, shoo Ivysaur away and uh, try to return Eevee back into the Pokeball. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in trouble, V. I'm not getting in trouble. He's going to get me in trouble. I mean... Ivasaur is walking... Oh, sorry. I grabbed the Fennekin on accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ivasaur just it takes Doromuka and like begins to walk away back towards where you presume Acacia is. <laughs> right, Nark. <laughs> Nark. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Just just get, get Evie back in this Pokeball. Yeah. Put, I, Pokeball. I put... Ivory back in her Pokeball and try to bury it a little <laughs> bit further down in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, a little bit more time passes, but eventually um, Acacia does return, followed very closely by the Ivysaur, and just kind of goes, So, um, everything good? Because. <laughs> yeah, everything's good here. Mm-hmm. We're just getting our Fine. rings set up with our new Pokemon, uh, getting to know them a little better. Uh, I, I think, I think I'm gonna name this one Chester. Chester, that sounds pretty good. Uh, be careful, or you'll end up with naming conventions, and then you'll never be able to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I speak from experience, kid. Mm-hmm. That, that doesn't sound like a bad problem to have. That actually sounds kind of cool. Right. Well, uh, here's your phones back. Kind of hands a bit Thank of phones you. back. They have been updated with the Pokedex, and a um, couple of things I'm going to need you to do since I'm sponsoring you. You'll have to do something in return for me. Uh, that is to say, if like you what? catch some Pokemon, I just need you to uh, take some measurements. The typical, you know, weight, you don't have to weigh them. It's usually pretty difficult, but just if you can make <laughs> some notes on each of the pages about what's, you know, height they are, what width they are, anything else. Uh, yeah. If you want, you could even take some photos, or if you find something that you think looks pretty weird, you should probably take a photo and register it for, you know, me to view. You can find all of that in the Pokemon page. You poke around, you'd probably be able to find it. Um, hmm. You put your contact in our phones. You didn't even ask. <laughs> Look, you gotta I mean, be able to, like, message me if something goes wrong. Yeah. I would put it in there if you'd asked. I don't <laughs> trust you just yet. Hands you back your... <laughs> hands you back your phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, D messaged me back and said that she'd be down to take you all wherever you want to go. So I guess that's all right. Awesome. Uh, she usually parks her little boat down by, not like in the main marina, but a little bit further out. Um, hmm. I guess it would be an old pallet. Not quite used to all the names for things around here yet, but uh, hmm. Huh. Yeah, anything else that you guys need? Do you have any spare Pokeballs that we could get? Because I don't have any. Oh, Pokeballs, yeah. Well, there's a Mart in town. I could probably spare... I could probably spare you. you. No, I'm not giving you money. What What did you do to earn money? I'm not your employer. Cool. And <laughs> were you though? though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> their phone pings and they look up and like like get their phone out and go D. Nope, nope. It's oh, it's you. Looks <laughs> over a kid. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> uh, right. 
Uh, I guess I could spare you, like, three Pokeballs, one for each of you, but don't count on it, because, you know, they're kind of expensive uh, yeah. and I'm not made of money. Again, I'm... <sighs> I just got out of school and it's, you know... Uh, I... Yeah, no, I just didn't <laughs> know if it was... <laughs> yeah. Something that the, the league kind of prepared for you to give to us. I don't want you to give us anything that you pay for yourself. That doesn't sound fair. Eh, I like you, kid. And Chester... Chester, right? Mm -hmm. Chester, yeah. Chester seems, he seems to, like to like it. Yeah. So, sure, why not? And they rummage around in their lab coat and pull out three more Pokeballs, which are interestingly colored white on both sides. Okay. And they go, oh, yeah, these are these are a little bit more fancy. They, um, when you register the Pokemon to them, it picks up on the type, so... Got them as testing products cool. from Pokeball Company. Actually, then they kind of pause and look down at the Pokeballs and, gl and glance up at you, Milo, and go, if you not a thing is notice anything weird about using these, let me know right away. Okay. Like, dangerous seem safe. for the Pokemon weird? Yeah. Or I've used them... They explode in his hand? No, I don't think they'll explode. I've tested them out on my own Pokemon a couple of times, but just in case, I need more of a... Need a larger testing pool to really come up with the best results, so just in case, it should be fine. But if you notice anything weird or fishy, let me know right away. Is Chespin's one of these weird ones since it turned green when he's in it? Yeah, that one is uh, one of the ones I got too. Look, it, it's okay. fine. It's just a new prototype of Pokeball. Yeah, I just want to know who to keep an eye on and to see if it's having any effect. Hmm. Are you sure that's safe? For um, the Pokemon? Well... What if we get stuck in there? No, I don't think that's gonna happen. But... If it does... You tell me. And I'm going to kick some ass. <sighs> well, what, what do we do about the Pokemon that gets stuck in Oh, don't worry. We'll find a way to get them out. No, it's. I, I'm kidding, you guys. It's fine. I wouldn't <laughs> give you sure? something that would harm the Pokemon. Otherwise, I wouldn't be I using mean, it myself. Sure. No, I want an insight check. Then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, that that makes sense, guys. Just, you know, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> They just kind of glance up and go, look, if you're worried, I can give you, like, regular Pokeballs to register, but... The other ones are cool. I mean, if I can get regular <laughs> ones at the Mart, then, yeah, I'll take these these cool ones, and I'll keep an eye on, on the Pokemon, and, yeah. So you're going to share this with us, right, Milo? Uh, sure. Yeah, actually. And he'll hand one to each of you. Each of you. Why not? That way we each can yes. have, you know, two of these type-specific ones that we can keep an eye on. Right, I got distracted. What are we all adding to our inventory? Um, a like cool a, Pokeball. I just called it Type Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good name for it. Type Pokeball. And then you gave us other ones, too, or...? Nope, it was just the type Pokeball that you got from Acacia. But you also stole one from Acacia, like a regular yeah, one no. that was empty. <laughs> v has plenty. Kid got some from his folks before coming here. Milo <laughs> was definitely hoping the professor was going to have some for him, but it's okay. <laughs> you, got, you got three grand. We can go get them all. Yeah, that, that's, that's his logic. He's like, I'll just go buy some. It'll be fine. <laughs> you just got to find some random person to battle and bet money on it. Easy. <laughs> Bet money on the fights? Huh. Yeah, it's kind of That's how you win. I don't know that money. I don't know that you bet money, but you like it's kind of an unspoken rule that whoever loses has to pay you. Oh. Oh, you can definitely bet money. The new gym systems they've got up. Well, I guess you'll find out when you get in there. They don't tell you what yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Are there like um, actually people there, like running these 
quote unquote gyms, even though they're not actual like badge gyms? Well, kind of yes and kind of no. I mean, the gym in Pallet is not really, doesn't get a lot of use aside from, you know, new trainers sometimes running through and wanting to use it to test out their new Pokemon. I think there's a guy that run that, you know, does general maintenance. Um, he's all right, I guess. But yeah, for those that are not registered with the Indigo League, it's just kind of for general public use. You could just kind of go into any of them. Can't. The actual registered gyms for the where you get the badges, that'll be a little bit more fancy. You'll find out when you get there. <laughs> The one in Cinnabar should be pretty interesting. So, how do you fight random people? Do you just have to, like, hang around in a sanctum, sanctum gym until somebody comes up and then you challenge them to a fight? I mean, if you meet somebody out uh, while you're traveling and you want to have a battle, all you gotta do is head over to a gym and fight them there. What if you're not close to a gym? Is there like a waiting list if if everybody's having to go to a gym to battle? Do you have to like sk- is it just the Poke DMV equivalent? Are we gonna have to schedule <laughs> like ahead of time? I mean, in some cities that is a problem. I think um, Celadon has like three gyms to get rid of their that kind of problem, but typically not in the smaller towns. No, there's not that many trainers around, you know. You guys are, like, the first ones to come through. Well, I mean, the tests are yearly, but still, we don't get that many kids. I only had, like, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think it was six kids that took the test in Celadon. Well, six kids that passed the test in Celadon this year, so... Oh, yeah. Including us? Sorry, what? The fancy. In- including us? Like, there's the three other people? Yeah. Yeah. Were they also on the train and got in a train crash? <laughs> they, suddenly there's like a record scratch and they just kind of go, wait, um, was that you guys? We were in a train crash. Oh shit, so that I'm using this as an excuse for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a train crash. Can I have the <laughs> money? <laughs> they just kind of look a little bit concerned and go, huh. You guys were on that train, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How was that? Heard a lot of uh, conflicting news about that. Yeah, it was not good. Um, Pretty shitty. Especially considering it was their fault that, you know, an Onyx attacked the train. An onyx. So it wasn't onyx. Yeah. News uh, didn't say that. Okay. Actually, you're probably the best person that I could ask about this, and uh, V will like take their backpack off and put it down and rummage through it and find the the onyx egg. Mm-hmm. Is this is this dead? Can this can we bring it back to life? Um, you see Acacia's eyes open a little bit wider, and they take a step forward, and then pause, and then glance at you and go, Can I? Uh, sure, here. They take it, and they very carefully, you can see that, like, although they look almost kind of angry, they're handling it with a lot of care, and they kind of turn it over in their hands a little bit, bring it up to their ear, and close their eyes and listen for a moment. And then put it back down and go, where did you find this? In a small den off of the the route that the train company cut through the mountain. They they cut through what we think was their den and then kind of boarded and... The railroad boarded it up. Yeah. Killed the baby. And we found or that. hopefully not. Ah. <sighs> God fucking damn it, those piece of shit. Right, shouldn't swear around kids. No, that was pretty much our reaction as yet. well. Right, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Well, uh. Damn. Dog trio. <laughs> Dog trio. <laughs> um. They kind of, um. 
pause and look back down at the egg. And um, so I'm sure, God damn it, when did you make that? <laughs> Incredible. Just now. <laughs> Too much for you. Um, they kind of uh, pause and look back down and go, well, I'm not an egg expert, but I have a friend who might be able to see if this is still viable. Now, it looks dead. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But yeah, see, rock Pokemon have a tendency to hibernate even when they're in the egg stages. Now, depending on how long it had been there, might still be able to be uh, brought back to life, but... Really? That would be great. Yeah. The fact that it never even had a chance because of them. Hmm. Did you uh, happen to take anything else? Like, take any photos of this uh, cavern where you found this thing? (laughs) V looks down at their phone and, like, 20 seconds later, Acacia's phone goes off, like, five or six like times in rapid succession <laughs> they reach down pull it back up without their exp- expression changing and like scroll through bit by bit and their expression grows he darker also, uh, mm-hmm. he also um links them his reddit and twitter hmm. <laughs> like and subscribe we also yep. told the police officer that gave us a ride back from the accident to viridian and drove us down here today uh, what had happened, and kind of brought her in on everything. Um, we also may or may not have let some Pokemon go that were kind of stuff on the train. Yeah, we did that. They, some of the railroad Pokemon sad. were, they were really mistreated. They were really sad, and and they just they just wanted to be free. So we broke the Pokeballs and set them free. Okay, one thing at a time. Question number one. How much did you tell the police officer? Everything. Mal told her everything. <laughs> oh, Literally. you sweet summer child. And they kind of glance at Milo, not with like a disappointed expression, but like a, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, innocence bit you in the <laughs> yeah. ass again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, kind of pauses and glances over a kid and then at V and goes... Okay, uh, and you told her also that you let loose some of the railroad Pokemon that used to belong belong to Sylph. Yeah, four of them. Hey, right. I don't think you should have told her that, but it was too late. I was busy. Yeah. I thought we agreed to just tell them everything, or tell her everything. I mean, we said we were going to tell her what happened, but that doesn't mean you have to say everything. Hey, I it look back right at the, <laughs> to the professor is just like, I mean, you see Milo, right? How could you tell him no? <laughs> Milo looks at me. I circle back to the Torch Chick Fil A argument we had last night. If I didn't tell them about tell her about the Pokemon, how did we fight the Onyx? And no, we can't have just punched the Onyx, kid. We would have died. He, he, get, like, as you were like, no, we, he already had his arm cocked <laughs> back, ready to hit whoever was near. <laughs> <laughs> Acacia just, like, very slowly covers your fist with their hand and, like, pushes down gently, like, no. <laughs> um, and then rubs their face with a bit of a tired expression, just goes, okay, so we are doing damage control. Gotcha. Um... So it's a good thing Damn we're leaving it. the mainland and going to Cinnabar. At least we'll be, you know, <laughs> down there. The waters they can't you. <laughs> well, it's it's actually still part of Kanto, but you know, well, it, it, it's kind of like far enough away, maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Now, all right, I'm being a little bit pessimistic. Maybe the officer that you told will finally be good for something. It's unlikely, it seemed- but it's not mm. impossible. She seemed really nice. She seemed to legitimately be bothered by what, you know, happened. She just seemed to kind of understand how the world works, and I don't fault her for that. Yeah, it kind of sucks, though. She did say we would get in trouble for having to battle, you know, to not get killed by an onyx. 
I think she was more upset about setting their Pokemon free. I think if we we brought the Pokemon we used out and been like, hey, these guys saved our lives, take them back and enslave them again, then everything would have been, mm -hmm. you know, okay. But I don't know. After seeing how sad Poliwhirl looked and after Machoke and Sandslash didn't want to help anymore, knowing that they were going back to their trainers, it just didn't feel right. Yeah, the Poliwhirl. He, he needed a break. He really did. I hope he found somewhere nice and warm to just swim around and have fun. I don't fault you for letting the Pokemon go. You probably did the right thing, knowing what Sylph... how Sylph treats him. But, uh... The officer was probably right that they're probably going to try to target you for this. Especially given what you posted. And they kind of flash these posts back at them. And go, <laughs> if this is going to do numbers... You are going to come into the public's attention now. There's only so much I can do to protect you all from that. But I guess if you are determined to take this further, then I can respect that. The question, of course, is what we're going to do with the police once they start poking around, or less uh, optimistically with Sylph. Once they start wanting to uh, get back at you for what you did, kill them. Um, well, I mean, would they would they just have us arrested, or would they actually try to hurt us? Oh, you never know with Sylph. They'll probably just do whatever is easiest, which in your case will, yeah, probably be. They wouldn't hurt a bunch of kids. No, they wouldn't, but they would take away your trainer licenses and your Pokemon if they could help it. Which That's is not fair. We didn't do anything illegal. They did shit that's illegal. They did things that were immoral. We did things that were illegal. No, Bingo. we didn't. We did. Look. We had to fight for self-defense, and we don't know what happened to the Pokemon. Look, if it comes to that, <laughs> I recommend talking to uh, <clears throat> family to see if you can get yourself a good lawyer. Now, until then, I say that getting off the mainland might actually be a good idea. Now that the four of you are linked back to me, if somebody comes asking around, I might be able to eh, stall for a little bit. <sighs> Is there anything else I should know about? Um, he kind of looks know. over at V. God damn it, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell her, tell him about. And he kind of like reaches into his bag. My dad sent me this this morning, and it was happened really... after we got the Pokemon licenses. Yeah, he had to send it through my mom. Her license was lapsed. I haven't battled. Well, oh, I I I kind of slapped. V's Gardevoir that we call her Gardy. <laughs> um, but I haven't battled, I haven't just, done anything, but he kind of holds out the Pokeball, but this is my dad sent me a Riolu, and he oh. holds it out, like, sheepishly like <laughs> It was after the licenses, so it's not illegal Sure, sure, you're technically not allowed to use Pokemon on provisional license but sure, you know what? Congrats! No That's one does that Great Ah, uh, that's fair. Um, look, just register it. Now that you've got your licenses, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, just Milo don't... also has a knife, is that man? <laughs> I mean, he carries that literally, like, on his waist. It's just, it just hangs <laughs> out on his belt. It's just, it's just a big old belt knife. It's just there. You know Milo keeps that motherfucking thing on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's got a knife! He's got a knife. Old tang hilt blade. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Acacia seems pretty, like, nonplussed <laughs> regarding that. They're just kind of like, oh, congrats. Um, yeah, register okay. that to your Pokedex with the ring as fast as you can, I guess. Just to he, make sure. He shrinks the Pokeball and puts it on his on his belt then, right next to chest pins. Okay, yeah, can do. Um, well, that's so, all That's all I got. That's again, good. are you able to overwrite someone else's... Uh, registration on a Pokemon. 
<laughs> Acacia, like, kind of glances at V and goes, Oh boy, what'd you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just... Do I have to, Milo? They're taking a lot of risks for us, V. They deserve to know. Just tell them. It'll be fine. Uh... I mean, my po other Pokemon might have a different owner at the moment, and but it's mine, and I have it. <laughs> Acacia, a very confusing sentence. A Acacia like looks at V for a long time and goes, and then slowly like sighs and holds out a hand, and goes, "Give me, for a sec. I'll get it. I'll give it back." You better. I will fight you. Yes, I'm sure you'll win. Come on, give it. Just slowly hand Evie's Pokeball to Acacia. Acacia takes the Pokeball, clicks it to just glance inside, hums, and then goes, All right, be right back. Be right back. Just, just chill. Chill. God, you... <laughs> no chill kids these days. <sighs> she can help. Or they can help. Better. If they take it, and like don't give it back and haha it's fine now and fuck you and i i will punch them um, just make sure you do it like this and kids like show you proper punch form and froakie's mimicking it on his head <laughs> you don't the thumb it's not in inside of your no, fist don't don't no at, do not okay. <laughs> i'm gonna break your thumb <laughs> Milo sees know. Kid going into a fighting stance and kind of showing off the moves, and he's like, I learned how to fight like this, and he does more of like a, it's more of like Tai Chi, Taekwondo, it's like a slower, more fluid, but he starts going into his own martial form. It seems like that, don't, just, if you're gonna throw a punch, do not put your thumb in like what you just said, I'm begging you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's so, really bad. thumb out on the side like this and like punches Milo <laughs> in the shoulder. Milo, do you know like medical stuff as a ranger? Because I'm realizing now that we're probably going to get hurt a lot more. We get hurt a lot already, huh? We were in a train wreck. Um, v fell down some stairs. <laughs> I was pushed down some stairs. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know a little bit, but I wouldn't say I'm proficient in it. Uh, 12? Let's see, what is Milo's deck? 12 is his AC. <laughs> <laughs> so do I do, like, zero damage because I have a negative one? I think it's a minimum of one. Hey, I think probably. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Take one damage. At this point, Acacia XP. comes back. And, like, pauses behind Ivasaur, who has been watching all of you with the same expression as somebody who would be, like, eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, like, sl slowly scooping up some, like, stray dry leaves into its mouth. <laughs> um, yeah. But Acacia kind of, like, comes up behind and goes, what are you... Nope, never mind. Don't even, don't even answer that. Don't worry um, about it. Here. And they can... outside of your fist. Yeah. <laughs> here. Uh, here's your Pokemon back. It's not actually, uh... Mm -hmm. It is registered to who I thought it would be. But, the uh, He didn't put a tracking number on it or anything. It looks like it was kind of open. Looks like he was prepared to, uh, give it to somebody. Maybe. Anyway, it's registered to yours now. Thank you. <laughs> Can't help for anything else, though. I don't... I'm not gonna interfere with family stuff, so, uh... That's all don't. up to you. Uh... Right. Well, uh, D will probably be able to meet you on the old pallet docks at... I don't know. Sunset is what she said. Who knows what that means. Um... <laughs> uh, old lady. Uh, wearing, like, overalls. Just look for a little boat. Well, it's not that little, but, you know. Awesome. All right, well, do you guys want to go and spend an afternoon at the gym before we meet to go to the boat? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. 
thought for a minute you meant like the gym gym where we were going to go and work out and I was like no fuck that <laughs> but... one type of gym and that's the one where Pokemon fight there are other types of gyms we just don't go to them no, no there are not they don't exist alright just he's just he starts Acacia kind of sees you out, but they're kind of like, okay, but don't overdo it, and because there is a Pokemon Center in Pallet, but like maybe, ah, oh, shit, hold on, and they run back and come back <laughs> with um, three potions. Oh, awesome, thank you. And oh. they hand three of them to all of you individually and just go, just be careful, right? They're still young. They're, you know, learning. They can get overzealous. Yeah. But that's that's when it's fun. They don't right. know what their limitations are, so they don't have limitations. That's what Dad said. I mean, they do have them, but they just don't know what they are. Hmm. It's good it's not like a devices, and it doesn't know how to hold its poison in the venom back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Just, uh, yeah, don't get in trouble, because I'll get in trouble. And no just promises. don't get in trouble, because uh, dying, not a good thing. I mean, I think we're already probably in trouble, but we already told you that. <laughs> we'll try to get better about not leaving the trail next time. Yeah, actually, that's pretty much what I meant. <laughs> Do you really think I need a lawyer? <laughs> are you, ta are you oh, talking yeah. to Acacia, or...? <laughs> yeah. Acacia just he, kind he of... hung back for a second. Okay, uh, they just kind of glance at you and cross their arms and get thoughtful and go... Who's to say how they'll react? But, um, maybe keep the thought on the back burner. I'll do my best to keep them off your back, but you, uh, you may have started to poke s a Snorlax. Well, the Snorlax that deserves to be poked. Right, that doesn't mean it'll hit any less hard. If you don't take care of yourself, nobody else will. Just be careful. Yeah. For what it's worth, I still no you're kind of more pleasant than he was to talk to, so... I would hope so. That's not a high bar. <laughs> <laughs> they, they actually chuckle at that and go, <laughs> Yeah, that's actually kind of true. Careful. And from behind Acacia, Ivasaur just kind of goes, Sar! Don't narc on me. 